Welcome back. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show on Flow FM. And we're looking at Hume Netball, one of my favourite leagues going around the Flow FM traps. So much happening in this competition. So many unpredictable results. And, of course, we probably had our marquee fixture out of any netball leagues that we cover happen in this competition over the weekend. And joining me to tell us all about it and more is our Hume Netball expert, Carla Fletcher. Carla, great to have you with us again. How are you? Thanks, Ellis. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, busy as usual, but um, I'm, everyone's in the same boat, so yeah, just keep going. All about perseverance at this point in time with uh, the league in full swing, Carla. Uh, there's no fixture other than the main game from the weekend for us to chat about. Jindera hosting Osborne and the visitors getting the win. Four points going the way of Osborne. 38-43, to 43, the final score. Carla, you would have been across this one. How did it all go down? Uh, yeah, look, it was a great battle between first and second um, position on the ladder. Um, and look, Osborne really, um, they turned up for a full 60 minutes of netball on the weekend. Um, Grace Kennedy stepped up from B-grade um, and she really held her own. And, you know, just show, showcasing um, how much depth Osborne has again this year. For both teams, it was great defensive play from um, both teams throughout the whole game. But I think... Um, Osborne just worked that little bit harder consistently over the game and all their seven players contributed to it, you know, the five-goal win. Abby O'Connell from Osborne in wing defence, you know, she just controlled the ball beautifully, creating lots of turnovers. And wing attack, Gabby O'Connell took home the coach's award. She just fed beautifully into the shooters. While um, Dindra's best players were Chelsea Burns in goal attack with some beautiful um, long shots. And Shana Holland and Taylor Vogel as well. So yeah, it was a, a an amazing game. If it had been a little bit closer, I would have loved to have um, popped in and had a look at it. But um, you know, Osborne working really hard and um, taking up that first that top spot on the ladder. Yeah, it looks like they're going to become the runaway team at this point after this result. I'll tell you about another side that people should keep a lookout for, though, and that's how long. Boy, are they putting together a serious campaign, Carla. A very handy win away to the Billabong Crows. A tense one, this one. 33-36 to 36 final score. How long looking good? Yeah, look, how long are, um, have been working hard? They've been building up for the last few years. And, um, you know, they're always up there in the top top four positions. So, um, yeah, they are a team to look out for. Look, the, the whole game was goal for goal. And um, neither side was able to break away um, until the, the very end. The Crows put on some great defensive pressure. But I think um, How Long just kept their cool and controlled the ball just a little bit better. Beston went to Holly Dowling in goal defence for the Crows. Um, look, she made the shooters work really hard for every goal. And Jess Feely and Millie Ferguson took out um, the other awards, while um, Kirby McDonald in goalkeeper for How Long and Gemma Colburn in um, wing defence took home the award for how long. So, yeah, how long look like they're travelling pretty well at this um, point of the season. That they sure do. Lockhart uh, losing at home to Cal Can. I'll tell you what, a pretty good week for the away sides here, Carla. In fact, there wasn't a single home team that got any of the points in this round, which is a particularly interesting point for us to discuss. But uh, let's crack on. Lockhart, they dropped the points at home to Cal can and uh, Cole can another side that can really turn it on on their day. Yeah, they're looking, and it, that, this game was um, really closely fought out throughout the whole game. There are only a couple of goals in it um, at every quarter break, but um, look, Cole can just um, probably kept their cool and held their heads together at some really key points in the last quarter, um, and they've come away with a really good win, and um, I think they've just cemented themselves into sixth spot on the ladder. Um, Kayla Wright, uh, Stephanie Cook and Jody Ryan were all good players for um, Cole Cam, um, with Tegan Hammond in for Lockhart in defence and Judah Maddie Robinson took home the award um, for Lockhart. So, yeah, it was a really close close game and it could have gone either way. Giants way too good for Henty, 49-28. to 28. What were your key takeaways from this game, Carla? Look, Giants were pretty happy um, with their win on the weekend and, um, you know, they just pro- um, managed to progressively build um, each lead um, at every quarter a break, um, but, you know, Henty was pretty competitive throughout the game, so um, they especially took hold of the third quarter um, with some lapses of concentration from the Giants, 
but um, overall the Giants were really happy with their win and they were really led well by um, their captain, Brianna Higgins, um, who, you know, worked tirelessly all day in goal defence and also Stephanie Edenweg-Webster, who um, worked in the goal circle as well. But look, um, I think one of the shining lights for Ramble Bundry last weekend was um, one of their young girls, 14-year-old prior, Priya Colhagen. She stepped up and played her first game for um, the Giants and did a really fantastic job. So she'll be someone to look um, look out for in the next few um, rounds. And also Henty's youngest team member, Kaylee Whitcomb, she was awarded um, Best on Court for um, Henty and the Coaches Award going to Erin Hogan. Um, who played centre all game. So it's nice to see some young young girls stepping up into the senior grades and, and really showing what they're made of. Holbrook with a confidence-boosting win over the Saints in the end, 51-26. to 26. This one in Brocklesby finishing at Carla. So the Saints struggling here quite badly. Yeah, look, um, Holbrook really enjoyed their first win for the season and, you know, you know what it's like to come away with a win. So the girls were all pretty pleased with their efforts. Um, they worked hard and, you know, they were rewarded in the goal circle. Um, best players for Holbrook were Taylor Byrne in wing defence and Brittany Deegan at goal attack, while Michaela Treverton, um, Brittany Williams and Georgia Ellers all took out awards for the Saints girls. Just uh, moving into our last game, Carla, the Murray Magpies at home to CDHBU. A very close one here, 34-39. to 39, Final score going the way of the visitors, CDHBU, the Power Girls. Uh, what did you make of the result firstly, Carla? Yeah, look, the power, I think um, they're um, playing some really nice netball and they're just keeping um, very close with um, a lot of the teams up there in you know that third to sixth position and, and getting some, some really good close wins. Um, the Magpies girls are celebrating um, Kira Nixon's 150th game last weekend and look, it was really tightly contested throughout the whole game with plenty of turnovers from both sides. But I think, um, you know, the power just stayed a little bit more composed and ended up winning with the winning with the five goals and claiming third spot on the ladder. Um, and their best players was, were another youngster, Tamir Richardson, in um, goal attack and defender, defenders Courtney Haig and Rebecca Cuser and Magpie Award winners were Tori Scott and Laura Kieran. Uh, Carla, before we move on and take a look at the fixtures coming up tomorrow, um, let's just get your thoughts firstly on the fact that it appears the home teams all had the yips across the weekend just gone. What do you think was uh, at play there? Do you think any kind of anomaly or just a coincidental weekend where uh, every home side failed in their task? I'm not sure. I didn't notice that. Um, that's a good um, pickup you had there. Um, look, I'm not sure what happened there, but um, I, I know I picked a couple of teams last week because um, they were playing at home. So clearly, um, you know, it's not a no advantage to anyone whether you're playing at home and away. It just depends on um, how you actually play the game on the day. So, um, yeah, anyone could win. Most definitely. Well, let's move along and talk about this weekend's games. And we've got Osborne at home to the Giants. The Giants might be up for this one, Carla. We certainly may well get a closer game than people might have predicted a couple of weeks ago after that win for the Giants last weekend. But still be a pretty big task coming up against Osborne, who just knocked off Jindra. Yeah, look, um, the Giants girls, they've got a lot of height down there in um, the circle. So um, Osborne, you know, Osborne can clearly match them. But I think um, Osborne will probably want to keep on the winning run. And I think they, they're not going to let up at all. They're not going to give anyone a chance. I don't think. And, and they'll push full steam ahead. So I think they'll take the four points quite convincingly. Bill Bon Crows v Murray Magpies will be an interesting one. Both sides will be wanting to bounce back, particularly the Crows, after that very close loss. Well, both sides, to be honest, came uh, are coming off really close losses. So they'll both be pretty fired up, we would hope, here, Carl. Yeah, I've got a question mark next to this one. I'm not sure um, who to pick. And, you know, you're right. They're um, they're both going to be very competitive. Um, probably work on some things that maybe they had some lapses on last week. Um, yeah, I, this game could go either way. But I uh, I will say maybe the Crows because that they're at home. But that wasn't. Um, that's not to say that that will happen because as you said um, last week, none of the home winners won. So, but I'm going the Crows. Cole can they come up against Ginger now? 
This might be a bit of a banana pill for the Jindera girls because that real deflating and crushing loss to their rivals and Kalkan coming off a pretty handy win themselves. So Jindera will want to bounce back pretty well right from the get-go. Yeah, I think um, Jindera, you know, they took home. I think that you've really got to step out there and play four quarters of um, focus netball and I'm sure um, Tegan will have the girls working really hard this week. So I think they will bounce back and um, I think they'll um, take the points quite quite well on Saturday Saturday so um yeah I think Ginger will win the four win, win the four points. Can how long sustain their really good run of form against the Power Girls Carla? Yeah well this is a class um how long are sitting fourth on the ladder and C D H C U third. Um how long are playing the so both teams are actually playing some really nice netball and um I think um yeah I think how long might just um, sneak in and it'll be a really close game but I'm going for how long Brocklesby, Warabunic, Saints up against the Lockhart hard one to call both sides not in the greatest form Carla how do you see it going yeah I think Lockhart might have um, you know a, a key player back in this weekend so um, yeah I suppose it just depends on you know whether both teams are at full strength but um, Lockhart's got some um, some nice plays down the court and it's always a tough game when we play um, BB Saints but um, I I think the Lockhart girls might come away with a win. It might be a little bit closer um, than they'd like. And I just wanted to say good luck to all our junior players who are, who are selected to represent him in the 13s, 15s and 17s. They'll all be playing in the Wagga Carnival on Sunday. So um, have a great day, girls, and enjoy your netball. And before we let you go, actually, Carla, National Volunteers Week this week. You do plenty of it yourself. Uh, is there anyone you'd like to give a particular shout-out to from your club or the association more broadly? Uh, look, I'd just like to say thanks to um, everybody for um, doing their bit for their clubs and uh, also a, a huge thank you and um, effort from all the Hume League girls on the committee. Um, they work really hard um, every week behind the scenes and, um, yeah, so thank you to them. So I hope everyone enjoys their um, their week, Volunteers Week, and thanks to everyone who helps out. Good on you. Thanks, Carla. We'll speak to you next week. Thanks, Alice.